Bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk. Bag milk from Oilers Nation joining us today as he does every Wednesday. How are you doing? Doing very well. Uh, the preseason game starts on Sunday. I'm excited. We're almost ready to go. I know. It's so close. Just a few days away from uh, the Jets coming to Edmonton um, for that preseason game. That seems crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. They See, two just yeah, finished the season in, at the end of June. <laughs> well, and that's the weird part about it is that it just feels like the summer was so short this year that it just you snapped and it, it was done. So, yeah, it's wild that the preseason's already starting, but I'm excited about Sunday. But I also know that the preseason is so long. There's eight mm-hmm. games again this year, and I know after the first one, I'm going to be like, all right, I'm over this now. Let's get going. Yeah, I, I don't know why hockey, especially for me, is like I can watch spring training and baseball and enjoy it and football. I'll watch some preseason. For me with hockey, I'm always like, just let's go. Come on, enough of this preseason stuff. Let's go. Let's get it going. I'm, I'm the same way. It's like even just for our business, for Oilers Nation, like having the season come back is obviously good for business. But like this preseason is just a slog. And like when you're watching <laughs> games and you're, I don't even know who most of the people are. Yeah. It's just like, okay, okay. Let's, I'm just cheering for the clothes now. <laughs> um, the Oilers losing um, Brad Holland. Is he like Ken Holland's yeah. son or something? Yeah, he was Ken Holland's son, yeah. Okay. So he was actually kind of an up-and-comer in that space, and some people thought that he might have an outside chance at actually getting the GM job, not just because he was Ken Holland's son, but on actual merit. Okay. So I'm curious to know, like, what happened there. They said it was mutually parting ways, but you know that's always one person's decision. It's yeah. Not like, so I'm curious to know what happened there. He seemed like an insightful guy, but, you know, with his old man gone and Jeff Jackson wanting to put his stamp on the franchise, it's not exactly surprising. But, um, yeah, interesting news came out yesterday. Yeah, so that was going on. Yeah, I thought because they were talking about him as like an up-and-comer and as if he was uh, this this bright mind. But I totally get if you're passed over for a job, too, you might want to go try your hand somewhere else and, and see what happens. And, and I bet he finds something. I bet mm-hmm. he does because like, there was rumors last year and there wasn't like they weren't crazy rumors or anything but that he was in line for you know some executive jobs around the league and so i wouldn't be surprised if he gets something yeah well we're excited for preseason there's lots of previews and stuff of uh, the upcoming season on the other nation website and also on the website you got a vacation coming up uh, to denver nation vacation time jimmy is one of my favorite things that we do every year in november late november we are going down to denver and this is going to be one of the more busy trips we've ever done so when we get there on the friday we're doing a viewing party because the others have a back-to-back weekend so we're doing a viewing party on the friday on saturday we're actually going to the game and then on monday we've got tickets to monday night football between denver and the browns so we are going to have a packed sports weekend down in Denver. So, And the trip is already over half sold. So if you're thinking of joining us or if hearing this for the first time, make you want to come with us to Denver, definitely do it. Go to nationgear.ca. This is going to sell out. And it's going to happen quickly. Yeah, because I've heard it's a great place to watch hockey. Like the Avalanche games are fun. And it's also a great place to watch um, football. Like the Broncos, I had a lot of friends that go to Bronco games. Just a uh, you know, great atmosphere and everything else. So. That's I'm a- excited about it. I think it's going to be a great trip. Uh, you can get all those details at nationgear.ca, and you can find bagged milk at oilersnation.com. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, boys.